Welcome to the Spiritual Artist Podcast. This is Chris Miller. I invite you to join me as I interview artists from a variety of disciplines. We'll share powerful stories and lessons learned while making their art. Good day. You're listening to the Spiritual Artist Podcast. This is Chris Miller. I'm your host. I'm excited to share something I learned this week, a little lesson for you to start the week on, something for you to think about. Um, I am going to be honest here and tell you that a lot of times the subjects that I pick for this uh, podcast are subjects that I'm working on in my personal life. If something comes up and it challenges me to broaden my spiritual depth or to look at it from a new perspective, I like to include it and share it with you. So this is a little story um, that I experienced, and I want to tell you some background first. First, um, in my book, I tell the artist to focus on what's working, to put painting paint down on the canvas randomly, to, to spend 30, 45 minutes just throwing color on a canvas, and then stop, get present, and see what's working, what area of that painting is working and expand on it. When we focus on what's working, it gets bigger in our life. And when we focus on something that's not working, guess what? By law of attraction, what is not working gets bigger in our life. It's a straightforward lesson, and yet it's a great lesson for you to practice this week is to focus on what's working. But there is, I realized, another level to this. When I focus on what's working with a painting or with things or places, or jobs, it's great. But I found that there's a little catch when I focus on what's working with people, because people aren't always self-aware. Let me say that again. People that you interact with aren't always self-aware. They might tell you one thing and mean another. And that, my friend, is where you can get into a snag on focus on what's working. When you think that someone is working with you and friendly and going with it, and then you open yourself up and they send you mixed signals, what do you do? Well, I found that being that I'm such an optimist and always trying to make things work, that I actually continue to make attempts at having something work. So something recently happened with a client of mine. I had this client that said they wanted some work done. They, they were excited to do it. And then they started kind of disappearing on me. I would send them an email and they wouldn't respond right away, or we had an appointment and they would cancel it. So I want to share with you another um, great saying that I got from my partner, my husband, Terry Martin. And I love this, this saying because it, it helped me a lot when I was running an art show, because sometimes artists would be really great to have in the show and other ones would be hard to navigate. I would reach out and try to get certain people in the show because I love their work and they weren't really wanting to be in the show. And my husband would say, Chris, they're just not on your path. Not on your path. What does that mean? Well, not on your path means that somebody is just not meant to be with you right now. The, the law of attraction isn't working. Their vibration, their consciousness is in alignment, is not in alignment with yours. It happens. And so his advice is to simply say, ah, that person's not on my path and walk away. That's hard for me to do. I am a doer and a, a make things happen person, but that is not always trusting spirit. If I'm a make things happen person, I'm trying to tell spirit what is best for me. But if I learn to listen to what's coming to me, if I learn to listen to the signs and be honest and listen to that intuition inside, that greater power speaking to me from within, I make the right decisions. So when this client first canceled that first appointment, there was a little red flag that went up. I was like, uh-oh, this isn't working. Maybe, maybe they don't want to do this anymore. But I immediately out-talked that intuition. And my higher self, my mind said, "Ah, uh -uh, no, you got to make this work. So I rescheduled the appointment. Well, then they canceled again. They moved it out a couple of days. Always very polite, always friendly, always saying that they were excited to do this project. But something came up, some excuse. It was always a good excuse. And they wanted to reschedule. 
Well, on the second time, I did hear that voice again saying, Chris, this guy may not really be interested in working with you. Do you listen to that voice? I thought, am I listening to the voice and or am I trying to force something to happen? So when someone that comes to you like this, and it happens all the time, that you think that they're not being totally in touch with how they feel, trust your inner guidance. So I didn't, I did not, and I scheduled a third meeting with this person. On the third meeting, literally an hour before the meeting, I receive an email asking me to push it back two hours. This was just too much. I thought, this person doesn't really want to do this. They may think they do. They may be sending me the signals that they want to, but by their actions, and actions do speak louder than words, they're not. So I want to ask you, the listener, to think about things in your life right now. Where are you forcing something to work with a person that inside, in your intuition, in your gut, in the voice of spirit within you, are you not listening? And where is it better to just say, ah, they're not on my path? And let me tell you the secret behind why that works. When you say they're not on my path, you're not fighting them. You're not going out and, and sending any negative energy toward them. You're not saying anything smart. I did not give a smart retort to this person on the third time. I simply said, hey, let's do this later. This isn't working right now. I don't have to hold anger for this person because oftentimes they're not even aware of their actions. So something you should remember is a lot of times people aren't aware of their actions. They're not conscious about who they are. And it's you. So you have to step in and you have to be conscious about what they're showing you. And sometimes it's just on some level of intuition that you know, this is not working. They're not on my path. But the key to not on my path is you can't get mad and say, well, they're not on my path. They never were on my path and go to a party or go to a dinner party and say, hey, you know what? That guy's not on my path. That guy was not on my path. And then talk about, because when you do that, when you argue and fight, you're putting them back on your path. Or when you say, well, why aren't you on my path? This is a perfect match. We could complement each other so well. You might, you might, that might be the truth. The truth might be that your services could complement each other or your relationship could complement each other. But if they don't want to and they're not ready, it's not going to work. So when you get mad or try to force it or even get mad at the fact that they're not on your path, guess what? You're putting them straight in front of you on the path and they are blocking your access to the next great thing. Did you hear that? They're blocking your access to the next great thing. You want to just say, ha, huh? casually schlep it off and keep moving down the road because spirit is always leading you wonderful opportunities. Spirit is always leading you through emotion, intellect, intelligence, all those things through your heart space, all these things coming to you, you will know when it's right. And if you start listening to it and let go of the ones that aren't on your path, even if you think they seem like they should be, that's the hard part. You're going to keep walking and find what you want faster and quicker. So I love this saying and try it this week. If something doesn't work out, if you're fighting with something, and this, this can work out, obviously can work with things as well. You can be fighting with making something work, fixing something. Ah, it's not on my path right now. Walk away from the plumbing, uh, do it yourself job you have, walk away from it, come back to it the next day. It's not on your path or hire a plumber. But with people, especially, always trust your instinct. Listen to it. Don't resent them. Don't keep them on your path. Don't fight with it. Just trust. Trust that the next best thing is coming right down the road. Trust that the next best thing is there. So with that in mind, I want you to go and spend this week knowing that it is always working out for you. You can trust that intuitive voice within, and you can just let things casually off, off your path. That's from things, jobs, relationships, whatever. Casually say, hey, it's just not on my path. So with that in mind, go out and have a great week and be a spiritual artist. Now, remember, please, please follow this. Choose like on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube so you can get more of these videos. Or if you're watching this podcast, share it with a friend if you think that might help them to walk down an open path to give them some guidance this week. I look forward to talking to you again. Have a great week. Bye.